Good day everyone, welcome to Cuyachalos TV. This is my second educational YouTube video. For today's vlog, I'm going to share with you on how to do VLOOKUP using Microsoft Excel. But before we start our session learning about VLOOKUP, we, it is very important to know what is VLOOKUP first. Okay? VLOOKUP stands for Vertical Lookup. It is a function that makes Excel search for a certain value in a column in order to return a value from a different column in the same row. And a VLOOKUP function, guys, exists of four components. The first component is the value you want to look up or which is the lookup value. Second component, <clears throat> the range in which you want to find the value and the return value. Third, the number of the column within your defined range that contains the return value. Number four, is zero or false for an exact match with the value you are looking for and one or true for an approximate match so in our example here uh, we have the list of names okay so we have agent 1 agent 2 until agent 14 15 and also the team performance to say the total okay so we will use agent 2 and of course, we have the date today, which is, let's just say, uh, the day is September 20, which is the day one of their performance. Okay, and we want to look for their data um, per agent, let's say the KPI is HD, time is W, hold, CPP, FCR, ITG, and uh, the percentage for the TSR. Okay. So first, select a cell in which you want to publish the data. Okay, that's the first step. So let's say the, 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 the cell we want to use is B9 because that's um, with HD. Okay, so in our selected cell, which is B9, okay, we start typing equals VLOOKUP, open parenthesis. Next, we select the value we want to look up. In this case, it is the agent name right as you can see here there is lookup value table array call index number and the uh, range lookup so now the, our lookup value is the agent name okay next we enter comma and select the range or table array in which we want to find the lookup value and the return value so now we're looking for the table array the table array is already here so we have whole, uh, uh, all the data of our agent so you select from g8 to p23 okay so that's our table array then hit uh, enter comma <clears throat> and then we enter after entering comma um the number of the row within the defined range in in which we want to look for the return value so in this case it's row one two three so it's row three because we're looking for HD data. Followed by a comma and the zero or false for an exact match with the lookup value for each end. So now we're gonna use zero because as we know the component, part of a component is there are two. The fourth component has true or false. First is zero and one. For zero, that's the true approximate match and for one, it's the false exact match. So let's put a zero and and when it's enter, um, we will get the, the corresponding data from the row or from the column that contains value within the selected table array. So I'm going to hit enter. Okay. So we have now the data for the HD of agent 1, which is 914. So make sure you check for as well at the same time after getting the data from the table array. So it's the same. And you will do the same process as looking on the other data. We look up power in parentheses, lookup value, comma, table array, it's here, comma, that's number, we're done with number three, number go with number four for the index number, comma, and zero for the approximate match. Then hit enter, we look up. So almost the same process. So it will be easier for you guys to um, collect all the data from uh, from your table or uh, from your um, per agent you know, if you want to to make sure that you have 
um, save all the data of your agent, okay, of your student. So comma, then we put number f uh, one, two, five, comma, then I make my zero because we look up, look up value, comma, little array, comma, number six, comma, zero equals we look up look up value comma table array comma uh, that's number seven comma zero equals we look up okay look up value comma the um the table array comma number eight or the number seven so it's one two three four five six seven eight because we're looking of for FCR comma then the approximate max zero equals we look up comma I mean a uh, open parenthesis uh, look up value comma table array comma number nine comma then approximate max zero and last one we look up open parenthesis look up value comma table array comma Number ten, comma zero for approximate match. That's zero percent. Okay. Now um, we all have the data of the list of a KPI for agent. So if you want to check individually, okay, we already have here the data of per agent. So let's select agent two. So it's automatically change with the same exact uh, data of per agent. Okay. So let's say agent ten. Okay, you can also use team performance. Okay, so as you can see here for team performance, it's all uh, the same. Okay, 921, um, 750, 25. Okay. And um, yeah, it, it is very useful and uh, very um, easy to use. So now we all have the data from our look of value, which is pre agent. Now, um, so if you want to make it easier collecting the same exact data, I'm I am highly recommending you guys using VLOOKUP function, uh, in an Excel, um, or in a Microsoft Excel, and um, yeah, I think that's all for today. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something. Bye for now.